In today's video, we eat the Jim Tucker meal. Now, who is Jim Tucker? Well, after this video, you'll know a lot more about him because he is responsible for this meal. He hit me up with a little something, something, said I didn't have to do any of this, but instead I'm doing all of it because why? I'm a McFiend and like him, I like all of these Mc items that he also Mc likes. We have a lot of Mc commonalities. So let's Mc get into it and talk about Jim Tucker. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. A couple things to do off top. We have a poot, as he likes to call it. That's short form for poutine, right? And he likes to do similar things that I like to do called defacing the poutine. And uh, what I mean by that is graffitiing it with ketchup because in Canada, that's a possible no-no for the poutine purists. But like me, he likes to slather it with ketchup. Now his favorite sauce is hot mustard, which I asked two of, for two of, but I got this, I got a honey and a hot. So maybe I'm supposed to make hot honey mustard, I guess is what the person at the till was thinking or whatever. Now, right here is a triple cheeseburger, no pickles, extra onion. And this triple cheeseburger will be a first for me. We'll talk about that momentarily. Six nuggies, beautiful golden treats. And then it's also Monopoly season. So we're gonna wait to the very end to see if we get any big wins. I could use a big win. We could all use a big win, right? <laughs> all right. Also, I, however, do not recall what his drink was, but today I had to go with the fresh, once again, Fruitopia orange. I don't wanna spill it, but oh, it's, right to the brim with ice. I'm so starving. This is going to be amazing. And that is just the drink alone already is just heaven. So first things first, let's investigate a poutine together. Ooh, look at that glistening sheeny shine of that dirty gravy. Got to manicure the edges, but let's have a look at it before we do anything wild to it. Okay, looking pretty good. Little light on the gravy there. We must squeeze the ketchup on, right? Of course, many packs of ketchup. And I suppose I'll give you a small introduction as to who this Jim Tucker fellow is. He is a person who has a channel who just kind of started out not too long ago in the, uh, the ASMR mukbanging type of thing. And uh, he just hit 100 subscribers. I randomly found dude. Uh, he's Canadian, I do believe, as well. And, uh, you know, he had a big beard and a shaved head. And he had the, you know, kind of... If I, if I had vision problems, right? Those are the type of glasses I would probably wear. Like the circular tortoise frame. Because I already wear those, but basically for sunglasses. So stylistically speaking, uh, dude was, you know appealing to my eye in terms of eyewear, right? Anyways, he likes a dirty ketchupy poutine. Now, six perfect golden crispy tempura style nuggies. Now he just hit his hundred subscribers and he's doing a hundred dollar giveaway. So for you guys, if you want to go over there, all you have to do is literally comment. He said, you don't have to watch the video. He's chill like that, like me, like never was begging for subscribers and all that type of stuff. He just, He's doing a little something there. So you go there, you get entered in a draw for a hundred dollar giveaway. So that's what's up. So Jimmy's on point. Um, and then also, I guess he's been watching my videos for some time and he, I woke up to a nice little, Hey, how are ya in the PayPal? And he just basically said, you know, just from doing the videos that I'm doing these days myself, he's like, I see how much effort and work this all really is. And uh, I appreciate you. So if you'd like, maybe you'd like to have a, a McMeal on me. Uh, he, and he said, don't, you don't have to do any of this. You can also just consider it as a, you know, a hey, how are you? Lucky for him, I love McDonald's and I love all of these items. So I'm super ready to eat them and talk more about this, 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 this gentleman. His burger was swimming in onions. Mine is not. It just has regular onions, but it does have the triple cheese. So that's good. But you guys all know, fresher the bite of the poutine, the better the bite of the poutine, right? So we got that cheese just stranging. 
and I'm ready to go. He peppered his poot. Oh, I didn't get it. I didn't have any pepper. <laughs> I didn't request any pepper. It completely slipped my mind. So, I don't know how I found his channel. It randomly popped up for me. And, uh,. I've just been kind of watching ever since, but he had a big old beard and he has the clip on mic like I do, but I put mine centered in my chest and he was having some beard scratching against the mic issues. To which I guess he's had a bunch of comments saying like, you know, beard scratches on the mic. And I just said in a comment, so you don't get that scratch, you just put it lower in the center of your chest and clip it on the t-shirt. Sorry, I'm not giving you guys views. <laughs> and then the next video he released, for the love of the game, he shaved off his legit huge beard that clearly has been a stylistic choice that he's probably been rocking for a good portion of his life. Now that's commitment. So he took drastic measures and shaved his entire beard off, but now he has a mustache. And in that mustache, he makes videos sometimes sitting around with his Shaved chest, showing out of a dad house coat. Creepy dad house coat, as he puts it. So if you think you can get into dad house coat eating videos, there it is. There's your promise land right there. I'll mind it. All that being said, we seem to share a lot of similar food interests, but I don't know if he's a mayo on the burger fiend like me, because I totally am. And I brought the jar for per bite <laughs> ketchup mayo bites out of the triple cheese. We're doing close cams today for this. Just one bite on the close. All right, Crave cam activated. Get right up in there, oh man. Oh man. I've never had a triple cheeseburger from McDee's and somebody, I can't remember who the subscriber is, but I know they're loyal, has been literally telling me for years to get an extra patty with cheese tossed on. And I just kind of never took the hint. But here I am making a reality and it is Divine, delectable. All of the D words. That deliciously describe food. Mm. I like pickles. I don't need pickles. And I don't necessarily miss them on this because I do kind of like how the onions get more showcased 
with the meat. Mm hmm. She's good. And also, dude, if you're watching, the ripple chip albacore white tuna sandwich. I haven't been able to stop thinking about it since I watched the video on the soft white bread. I've never been a add chips to tuna sandwich. I'm not opposed. Just never really thought of it. And I'll be honest, it's been a few days and I just keep thinking about how I need a ripple chip sandwich with a tuna accent. Cause you went hammer on those ripple chips. So I may need, may need to just make that video Straight up off the strength of a crave. Of a crave that needs to be itched. Once it's in there, it's hard to get out. Especially when it comes to tuna. I love tuna. Like, love tuna. Alright, perfect golden nuggies. Now, this is one area where our Mick likeness doesn't align i don't know how i'm feeling about hot mustard mainly because i just i'm such a sweet and sour barbecue horror like that's just don't get me wrong i love mustard and be honest i love honey mustard actually honey mustard is probably one of my favorite sauces But out of the sauce game at McDonald's, I gotta tell you, I can't be with you on ranking the hot mustard as the best sauce. It's sweet and sour. No two ways about it. However, this is a, a happy mistake right here, a happy accident. I implore you, sir, to get some honey with your hot mustard next time, because that's good. That's real, real good. So for any of you who are intrigued in getting in, entered into a $100 giveaway, I will leave Jimbo's uh, channel linked in the pinned comments for this video. So that you can go over there, enter in the draw, and then peruse. Maybe stick around. Maybe take in a little house coat, magnum PI dad mustached eating guy. Eating and chatting guy. With cool glasses. Right? You don't even have to subscribe for the giveaway. That's the other thing. He doesn't care. He's just offering it up to whoever wants to be in there. 
So there it is. The Jim Tucker meal. Thank you, my good sir. Brother man. Bro nameth, bro hemeth. We certainly do appreciate the uh, support on this side. And as you can tell, your meal's a hit with me because I love all of it. In this eating session in particular, the triple cheeseburger was really where it was at. Now, our final thing in this video. Will we win big and be able to pay it forward to many more people in the space? Well, we got Peggy's Cove. So we didn't win big. <laughs> Just got a piece for the board. Oh, and we got some national park. Wapusk. Wapusk National Park. So that didn't help us. We didn't win big. Still enjoyed this fantastic supported meal from a fellow person who's trying to do this shit out here too now. Okay? So check them out. Link down below. Tell the next one you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching. Eat good, live well, and stay true.